what's up? This is Arnold Mace for MMAHawaii.com. I can't do the loud greeting. I'll try. With Andy Bumeta! Hey. A little hard without the band. Yeah, a little hard without the band backing me up. And, you know, I was, you know, trying to, like, eat some of these uh, uh, Ono grinds here at uh, Dave & Buster's. Mr. Boomin's High, uh, MMA here uh, in Hawaii. What are your thoughts on the whole scene and the upcoming fight X1 World Events Presents Legends? Well, you know, like most local people, seeing Egan come back, the man who's, you know, had so much to do with the, at the beginning of MMA, I'm, a, I'm, I'm here to support that. And also, uh, you know, uh, X1 as a Hawaii business, you know, this is a locally owned and operated organization that, uh, that I'm also uh, very much behind. So the combination of X1 and Egan, you know, uh, for me is irresistible. Plus, I like to watch the fight. <laughs> and, um... I guess uh, way back, uh, actually way back earlier in the year, your name actually came up in the forums. They were like, that would be cool if we had like a award show for like MMA Hawaii and we could have Andy Bumatai do the host. And, but then and if, if we look for it, that thread's there. So, hey, somebody bring a po get that form, get that thread back up in the forums, guys. But, uh, yeah, they were like, yeah, he'd make a good host if we could bring him in. So, um, like, like um, your memories from like, uh, you know, fights been going on here. What are your, some of your favorite fights here in the hall? You know, I, I went to uh, Waianae High School, so <laughs> a lot of the fights I remember, not too many people saw because they took place behind the cafeteria. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But, you know, oddly enough, you know, I'm old enough to remember when even uh, high school fights, uh, where we used to do what we called up and up. You take off your shirt, you stand on the side, you know, there was, you know, okay, no karate, no kiki, no joints. I mean, it was very close to what you're seeing now in the ring. I mean, now, of course, you know, the kids, it's all about guns and weapons and there's no rules and you know what I mean. And again, I haven't been in a fight in a while, but uh, I think uh, two men, you know, in a, in a fair fight on a level playing, playing field will always be irresistible because men fight. You know what I mean? And what what I especially appreciate is after the fight, when you see the hug and, hey, that was a good one. I mean, I, when I, I watched Mayhem lose, uh, you know, and when afterwards, what happened, Jason? And he went, I got licking scars. I fell out. I mean, because, you know, they all have it in perspective. And I'll tell you something, you know, uh, it's, an inter it's a good entertainment value for me anyway. It's not everybody's cup of tea. I enjoy it. I enjoy it, dude. And I'm pretty sure if you're watching this, you enjoy it. So uh, your picks, uh, Mr. Bubatai, let's, let's see, like, you know, kind of drum roll, please. Okay, no, 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 I'm no. not going there. No. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to just... let the chips fall where they may. And, and that's, part of, that's part of the appeal of, of, of X1, you know. Uh, it, it, it often is not about who trained the hardest. It's not often about who is favored or who has hometown advantage. It's about the heart. You know, and that's when I when I had uh, Egan on my show. You know, everybody, wait, 42 against, you know, what is it, 24 or something? And he and I said, you cannot discount the heart. There you go. And 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 that is is what I'm watching up there. I mean, who guys lose, but you see them get more applause because they had the heart. All right, so uh, let's talk about your show, Mr. Bubatai. Like mm -hmm. late night with Andy. Boom! I can't I can't do it without the man. <laughs> I can't do yeah, it without the band. I can't so, do it uh, so uh, let's you know let the uh, fans know like who uh, you know what what station does uh, late night with them Andy Pumatai air? Well, we're on K five here in Hawaii, uh, nine thirty five, and on CW digital channel ninety three. But you can watch the show at nighttimehawaii dot tv, and and episodes are all there. So we get hits from China, from San Sao Paulo, all over the world, and especially uh, when you. Uh, I, I like that one episode. I, I think I had to watch it a couple of times. You brought on the uh, burlesque. Oh, yeah, yeah, well, and oh, anything I, with <laughs> scantily clad women. But I also did a routine on one of the shows, I wish I could remember, about going to an MMA fight oh, and, and dealing with the people in the crowd. I said, you know, that, I said, you think, it, you think it's violent over there. No. I mean, there's people oh. in there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know oh, what I mean? Yeah. You especially, get those brothers walking around. Especially you here in Hawaii. Yeah, especially. Here in Hawaii, you know, I mean, you know, primarily it's, you know, a bunch of people there to quietly enjoy someone being beat to death. But <laughs> mostly... <laughs> But oh, there are a few, and I did a, a monologue about that. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, I definitely got to check that out. What's that website again? It's uh, nighttimehawaii.tv. We have over 350 clips from the show, uh, Hawaiian music, jazz, stand-up, you name it. And it's, of course, on YouTube, slash uh, NTP Hawaii. All right, so what if we want to take in the show live? What if we want to take in the show live? I was like, man, I didn't know they... 
Like when I first got to the mm -hmm. islands, I was like, wow, I didn't know they taped the show here live. What, where, where can we find out more? Well, we're at the Outrigger on Mondays, and we tape five shows on Monday, and then we wow. and we tape and then we air them, you know, in a row. Uh, we will be uh, this um, Monday. We'll be taping the last of our this season, and then we'll be running some reruns like everybody, and then we'll probably be back in July sometime with more live shows. But it's at the Outrigger uh, Waikiki main so, showroom. Uh, any uh, MMA fighters you hope to get on there? Like, uh, who's your dream interview? Like right now? Well, I had it already, and that was uh, Egan. Egan was on the show. I had him on, and uh, we talked a little about. It. In fact, he, he said, "Hey, you, you know how?" <laughs> I said, "No, no, no. I'm waiting. For, I'm waiting for Frank DeLima." <laughs> I think that'd be a good match. <laughs> Not Augie Toba, because he was Golden Gloves. Okay, oh, yeah, so yeah, I'm yeah, sticking yeah. with Frank. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I say you take Frank to the ground. You get, yeah, you I get guess him out in the first, not the second uh, round. Well, I, first. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for a single, and I know <laughs> he's going down because he got that one bad leg anyway. <laughs> But, but actually, that will be cool for us if we could get, uh, uh, you know, Augie out of retirement, you know, the strap on the gloves, maybe a little MMA or XMA. X will make it happen. So, wow, man. And, you know, because, you know, it's not like comedians don't know about punchlines. <laughs> <laughs> or dying, dying in front of a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. So, uh, uh, I know you can't wait. I can't wait. Once again, the card, X1 World Events Present Legends, 730 at the Blaisdell, uh, Ticketmaster.com, Blaisdell Box Office, or Digital Channel, or Oceana Digital Channel, blah, Google it. I don't know what it is. And uh, for Andy, this is Darno Mason for MMAHawaii.com. Bring you real people, real fighters, real pain.